Today I'm going to be sharing and styling some of the pieces that I've thrifted throughout this month that I think will be perfect for the upcoming fall season. Everything I'm showing today is from Goodwill. I literally have one right by my house so it's really easy to go. Since everything is thrifted it's not like you can really go out and buy the same thing but you can see what you like and take inspiration and then apply it to things you have in your own closet and maybe even make a better outfit. There you go. Let's get into it. First thing that we're starting off with today is this bubblegum pink Tommy Hilfiger like collared shirt. I was thinking about maybe cropping it, but I haven't tried it on yet, so we don't know. I think I'm probably gonna leave it though. I'd style this with like some jeans or just like some nice plain pants. The good thing about this too is like you can lay it underneath or you can put this underneath the sweatshirt and have just the collar peek through. That was a really popular trend like mm, maybe like a little bit like two falls ago, but still who says we can't bring it back? No one. Next we have this pink and black striped tank top. I like that it has like low cut on the arms. So if you want to wear like a cute bra or like something to peek through underneath, it will show. I would wear this, I think with like a little black mini skirt and maybe if I had some tights and like my loafers or my docks. And again, you can put things under it, layer it. I think this would be a great piece. Next is this plain yellow long sleeve and you're probably like, okay, what's special about it? Yeah. There's nothing really that special about it, but it fits nice. It's very soft. And I like how it doesn't go down all the way. Like it's not cropped necessarily, but it's not like full blown shirt. Anyway, great staple. I feel like you can't have enough just plain long sleeves because you can put them under things. We get the gist, right? Layering is key, especially in the fall. And if there's one thing that's a staple for the fall, that is definitely a good turtleneck. So here we are. This one's like a, I would say it's like a blue gray color, but yeah, great simple piece. Can put it under a coat, under anything, wear it alone, wear it with a skirt. That would be cute. Endless possibilities. I, I'm really excited about this next one. Look at this vest. I wouldn't say it's checkered cause it's like, not like the boxes. I don't know what that's called. Yeah, literally wear it over anything. I'd probably put a black turtleneck underneath or Maybe even a little bra moment that would be really cute with like one button. You'll see in the try on how I figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Moving on, I have the same cardigan in black that like my grandma gave to me that was hers. So it's actually really funny that I kind of found same one in brown. But I love these because they're not full sleeve. They can kind of bunch up a little bit and they're super soft and lightweight. So it's even if it's a little hotter day, but you want something in case you get a little chilly, this will be your best friend. And the thing I like about these two, even if you are getting hot, but you don't want to just carry your jacket, you can tie it around your neck. Look super cute. Look like you planned it and it's part of the outfit. Next, I kind of hit the jackpot on these next two and they were both in different trips. So that was kind of freaky. It's a Ralph Lauren button up, but it's not oversized or anything like it actually fits, which is kind of mind blowing to me because that doesn't happen. You know, there's not much you can say about a white button up. We've all seen it done before under over everything it's a great staple and then we basically have the same thing only this one is blue and white stripes same kind of fit super versatile this one might give me a little more like summer spring vibes but says who honestly says who i can wear this any time of the year christmas sure next we have this just huge sweatshirt Honestly, you could get this on Amazon anywhere. It's just a Hanes sweatshirt, but it was oversized. It still had its sticker on it when I bought it too. So I was like, okay, no one's even ever worn it. So comfortable. Personally, I like all my hoodies very oversized, which isn't too hard for me because I'm very short, but I thought this was like just a really good color. Again, literally can do anything. It's a sweatshirt. It's a sweatshirt. Okay, so this one, your eyes probably been on it the whole time, right? Yeah. It is this red blazer. The brand is Alfred Dunner. I don't know, I've never heard of it, but very stinking cute, right? This blazer reminds me of like a lady bit because I don't know if you can tell, but there is black stitching that goes like all the way through it and the black little buttons and it's so cute. It does have shoulder pads, but I could probably take them out if I wanted to, but let's see how much they bother me. Moving on, I've been really into buying scarves recently, not just for a scarf, but for everything else it can do. I got this one. It's just like a deep royal purple. I don't know if like this is really sequins, but it has some like sequins going around the edges. I'm gonna put you one right now. The thing about a scarf is you can wear it as a top at least 17 different ways. I know we've all seen those TikToks. You can wear it as a skirt. You can wear it in your hair. You can wear it as an actual scarf. You can do so damn much. I think you can even turn it into like a bag type 
thing. I think I've seen that too. Anyway, that's a great way to just spice up an outfit and add something different. I guess with that, we'll move on to pants because bags, we well, should just do that last. First, I'm showing these. They're like navy, like they're not exactly cargo pants, but that's exactly what they're intended to be. They are little boy pants from the children's place, but they fit me perfect. So we love that. And the one thing I love more than anything about kids clothes is that in the pants, they'll usually have the adjustables. That saves my life. Why isn't that in every other pant? If I ever come out with a clothing line, those will be in the pants, just so you know. I didn't even realize like all the pants I've gotten are navy, but they're all kind of different, so it's okay. Next, I have these pants and I don't really know how you would describe them, but there's like ruching on the top. On the back, they have little pockets with the buttons and I love when like low-waisted pants have like just the buttons on the pockets. It just makes your butt look so cute for some reason. Just me? I don't know. Super cute, probably would just style this very plain, very simple. These I feel like are a good summer pant as well for the beach and stuff. So these pants were actually from Zara. They're literally just navy again. Oh, they were made in Turkey, that's cool. They have like stripes on the back, really like that. They're kind of, you'll see when I try them on, like I don't know how to describe these pants. They are kind of like work pants, though, like professional. If I want to be a little business casual, I can whip these ones out. Last pair of pants. These one are from Talbot, Talbots. What's like the right word for it though? Like work pants, like I don't know. Like they're not like construction pants, but they're not. Like they're dress pants, but they're not dress. Maybe they're dress pants, I don't know. This one has one button and one pocket. That's fine, that's cute. The best thing about this though is when I fold it over, cause again, not gonna fit. This one has blue and white stripes on it and that's so cute to me. If you can pick a boot and it being even cuter, a plus. Last thing is some bags. I only have two to show today, but they are both cute. This first one is kind of looks like tires and like rubber and like leather, like patchwork, but it's really cool to me. Uh, let me see if I can find the brand. Oh, there's a hole in it. Oh, didn't know that. Well, damn it, I didn't even know that. Okay, well, I'll fix it eventually, hopefully. Anyway, it is a cute bag. Besides, I just don't put too much valuable stuff in it, it might fall out. I can't read script like that. This cute little bag, metallic metal kind of color, it's silver, makes me feel like futuristic. Very cute, very trendy right now. Love it. So that was the last piece. I hope I could have helped you in any kind of way, maybe give you some outfit inspiration for back to school or just whatever you wanna do this fall. So if you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and have a great day. Bye.